Seb, um, obviously you, you're coming off a record-breaking win. Um, just how are you kind of feeling heading into this weekend now against Scott? Yeah, just moving on to the next game. It's a uh, it's a good opponent. You know the. Last year's NWSL champion, so it's nice to be back home as well in front of our own fans. So we're all excited for that. But again, it's just continue the momentum. I thought, you know, you could tell that we'd been apart for a, a bit of time, um, so that those connections weren't quite there that everyone saw at the start of the season. But just really happy that we managed to get the three points away from home. You know, Houston away is always a difficult game to play in, but. Um, yeah, so it was a good game for us and a lot to build on. And, and yeah, we're excited with uh, Gotham coming to our home stadium. Despite the, you know, the, the roughs from the performance, I mean, you still were able to, to get the win and get that result and get the record-breaking win. Um, but it seemed like the team was kind of disappointed in the, the way they played. And we talked about it over the course of the season where the, the level and the standard that the team has set is, is just high. Um, how do you kind of go about you know channeling that frustration from not performing the way that they wanted to last game into this game now coming back to home? Yeah, I think we have set ourselves really high standards. Um, listen, I don't think we played badly. I think we still dominate the game. I still think we create a lot of good opportunities to score. I think on another day we probably score those opportunities early on in the game and, and see the game out comfortably. Um, but the way that this team is right now and how they operate you know they they hold themselves to really high standards um i think you know some teams look away from this you know take away from this game is you no know, one nil's a one nil defeat is a good result for them and so yeah we gotta stay to ourselves stay to our identity keep keep driving that um next game is around the corner and and so some of those opportunities that present themselves we are hopefully you know, put the ball in the back of the net on Sunday. When you look at a team like Gotham from last year to this year, they're, they're retooled with so many new players. Um, Haley was just kind of talking about how they have so much rotation, it's kind of hard to get a good grip on, on the way they're playing and the personnel that they play. How do you kind of go about, you know, studying film and, and having not played them already, kind of trying to dissect ways to beat them? Yeah, I think personnel is... is difficult to try and pinpoint what team's going to go out there and play, especially the starting lineup. I think their principles are very similar to what they had last year. They've obviously added some good international players into their roster as well. Um, and listen, they're, they're the you know, NWSL champions and that's something that we want to aspire to this year. And, and so it's a great test to our players to compete and um, challenge themselves against some of the best players in the world. Going back to playing at home, you haven't played a league game at home since, I think, June. Utah, I think, was it? Yeah. yeah. Um, how weird is that just to have that so much time in between league games at home and, and now to be able to come back and, and have you know your home crowd in front of you and to be able to play with them, with all the Olympians back and you know everything kind of leading into this game. How excited are you for, for a game like this? So I think... You know, looking back at last year, our away from was something that we wanted to really focus on. Um, last year, we didn't pick up enough points away from home, and that's something that we've really rectified this year. I think our home form last year and and the start of this year, we've we've made Interim Co Stadium a fortress, and that will continue. Um, and I think, you know getting the fans out there supporting us um, because the players fully deserve it they've, they've been incredible this year and and we've you know built a brand of football that's entertaining and and you know we've we've been on this winning streak unbeaten streak and so to get more fans out there supporting this group of individuals is going to be massive for our success in this um, end of the season um, no more against the NWSL champion. So, yeah, we're all excited for the prospect. It's nice being at home, coming back to our home stadium and playing in front of our own fans. With the, the race to the, the top very close now, obviously Kansas City has dropped another game, but I mean, everyone's within about seven points of mm. you now, uh, especially with Gotham now on this good run of form that they've been on. Um, you know you're going to get a, everyone's best game. Yeah. Um, 
approach those those kind of moments and um, you know keep that level of, of concentration high. Yeah, I think the concentration part is really important. I think anyone who watched our game against Houston, we created a lot of chances, but then we could have dropped two points. You know, they missed a, a guilt opportunity in front of goal and you know we we rode our luck on that so it's it's down to fine margins and yeah it is very tight at the top um but that's that's the beauty of this game that's the beauty of this league that um anyone can turn up and and put a performance together and i think where we're at right now every team wants to be the team that beats us and and stops the unbeaten streak so yeah we we don't expect anything less on on Sunday against Gotham who will have something to prove against us